let's all take off our masks. Welcome everyone to the fifth live meditation before we make mandalas. We have now been sheltering seven weeks and making our mandalas. In the ether together, we have five blogs full. They're very wonderful, very inspirational. And uh, I want to let you know, I will talk about this in a minute, but I am going to be taking a break. So I'll speak about that in just a minute. Uh, let's just sit here for a moment, visualizing our circle of light. All those who have been joining us and making up the circle of light and anyone new who has joined us. Welcome everyone. Remember why we're doing mandalas. I always want to put a pitch in. We do them to center. We do them to balance. We do them to go within ourselves rather than looking for in information and answers on the outside of ourselves. You know, if you have been in my class uh, sometime, you know that I ask for guidance about each class that I'm going to be doing and each meditation. Today is no different uh, and neither is any of the other days that I've done this live meditation. So, uh, and I want to encourage you to do that. You ask within, you will get an answer. You need to probably get used to getting the answers inside rather than outside. But I did that in regard to this meditation today. So, an image came. Is that the image? Uh, it came, 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 and then I got it real clearly. And what it was, was a rosette of a succulent. And I said, oh, all right. Let's see what that means. And I looked it up online. And it's so relevant to us today. And this is what it said. The kingdom of plants thrives where sunshine and water interlink. Some are strong, some are gentle. But every plant, whether it be big or minuscule, lie in it lies a symbol, a hidden meaning that can be discovered by us humans. Succulents symbolize an enduring and timeless love, for they are tenacious plants and store water in their thick leaves and stems. They offer us a positive example for conserving water and flourishing in very difficult circumstances, reminding us that we are stronger than we realize and even the most arduous situations, it's not the end of the line. So, um, I, and, and like I said, I'm going to take a break, and what I'm going to be doing is asking for guidance on my next step. Uh, I will either be doing online uh, classes, or I have a video book project that I think would be a good time to work on right now, but I am going to do what I'm asking you to do is go within and get a message. So I will not be here next week and I'm not sure when after that. So, um, it's time for us to meditate. So let me ring the bell. And my trusty servant behind the camera there will focus us on the It's not working. Okay, that's all right. But try it again at some point. Find yourself a, in a comfortable posture. Settling 
and closing down your eyes if that's comfortable for you. Breathe in several deep breaths. Sink deeply into your chair and relax as deeply as you can. Bring your focus from your mind into your body and notice if there is anywhere in your body that needs special attention. Just notice with compassion and kindness. Breathe into that area. Breathe in long breaths and breathe out breaths that take you into your body. Focus on your body. So breathe in, focus on your mind, breathe out long breaths and focus on your body. See in your body where you're feeling, what you're feeling, basically. Okay, imagine now that you are in your sacred place or in your sacred garden. Settle in, get comfortable, relax. Breathe in the energy of nature all around you, feeling gratitude for all that surrounds you all that fills you. Enjoy sitting there in the silence, listening to the silence. Begin now to focus on your heart. Do you notice an image there? And it is a succulent rosette which someone very close to you gave you. If you don't have one, you can get one from me, literally from my garden. Breathe into the rosette, making room for it in your heart and remembering the love that came with this gift. Now, if you got another flower, that's okay too. It's your meditation, whatever came up. As you breathe into your heart, and into the succulent, the succulent begins to grow. It grows, and it grows, and it grows. It is now as big as you are. You feel that it is time to share this succulent with others. So you begin to take small flowerets from your succulent. Imagine now taking those cuttings to your class circle, the circle of light created by this group of mandala makers. You go around the circle and give each one a piece of your succulent. You see that there are circles as far as you can see with everyone holding flowerettes of succulents that they were given. You know that everyone will take them home and plant them in their garden. And they will grow with the love and light from the group. That light surrounds the planet now. Everyone has small pieces. They are gifts. And you can imagine the gardens growing from this love and light. And you will have your own garden from the pieces you were gifted. What does that rosette symbolize to you or the flower that you received? How does it touch you? You return back from the circle of light to your sacred space thinking about what just happened. Notice how you feel in your body and in your bones. As you sit in the silence of your sacred space. Before you return to your seat where you started, I have a poem for you. It's called Silence.
by Gunilla Norris. Within each of us there is a silence, a silence as vast as a universe. We are afraid of it and we long for it. When we experience that silence, we remember who we are, creatures of the stars, created from the cooling of this planet, created from dust and gas, created from the elements, created from time and space, created from silence. In our present culture, silence is something like an endangered species, an endangered fundamental. The experience of silence is now so rare that we must cultivate it and treasure it. This is especially true for shared silence. Shared silence is in fact a political act. When we can stand aside from the usual and perceive the fundamental, change begins to happen. Our lives align with deeper values and the lives of others are touched and influenced. Silence brings us back to our basics, to our senses, to ourselves. It locates us. Without that return, we can go so far away from our true natures that we end up, quite literally, beside ourselves. We live blindly and act thoughtlessly. We endanger the delicate balance which sustains us, sustains our lives, our communities, our planet. Each of us can make a difference. Politicians and visionaries will not return us to the sacredness of life. That will be done by ordinary men and women who together or alone can say, remember to breathe, Remember to feel, remember to care. Let us do this for our children and ourselves and our children's children. Let us practice for life's sake. And I just want to remind you before you come back to where you are sitting now, sit for a while if you have a moment and allow all this to sink in before you get up and get on your way. I will continue to um, post your mandalas. So we're moving on to number six now, and I'm happy to do that. They're beautiful, and if you haven't looked at all of them, uh, give yourself a moment. Congratulate yourself, first of all, for showing up today and give yourself a moment to go look at them because they're beautiful and we're expanding beyond just the United States with some of them. Welcome to all of you who are not uh, U.S. citizens or U.S. with us. Uh, okay, so thank you for being a part of our Circle of Light. And until we meet again, it is Dawn and Michelle sending you love and light.